It's a flipping short cross. <laughs> Good morning mud monsters and welcome along to a glorious day in Norfolk. This is a day I've been waiting for for how long has it been now? Is it? It's, it's probably nine months. I'm out on what is or what I call the Horde Field. This is where we found 14 King Henry III John and Richard Shortcross pennies over I think two and a half days haven't had any time on it really in the scheme of things to try and isolate down where it is but I'm here today it had um, wheat on it and that has now been taken up there's some left for baling but in between that there's more than enough room to get digging I've bought some marker flags I'm gonna mark out where the previous ones were found I've got the CTX to mark out any new ones and at some point I've got to make that tough decision when am I going to start digging down? Hopefully it's not a tough decision. Hopefully there'll just be loads of them coming up and it'll be simple, but who knows? Having watched Luke's hoard come up recently, it just filled me full of so much excitement. It really, really did. But guys, anyway, enough talking from me. And I'll see you on the first hoard coin. <laughs> right, guys, it's not been going too long. I've got a little bit of interference from some overhead wiring, but... Hammies have been coming up 14 to 15. Oh. Could this be the first one? God. Right, don't you love stubble? Right, I'll clear that, get a better target ID on it and dig down. Not this time. <laughs> oh, I felt sure that would be a hammy based on previous signals being 14. But a bit of whatever that is. I don't know. I'll keep it. Maybe the hoard was kept in a metal pot and that's the rim of it or something, I don't know. Let's be really hopeful today. Still picking up targets uh, that were missed from when I uh, first went over this as it just was about to be um, drilled. So, I mean, if you can miss a button and I've had a couple of bits of lead and a bit of aluminium, then we easily could have missed the the hammies plus I'm thinking that you know the crops would have uh, disjointed and moved around anything in the topsoil as well and actually I'm getting pretty good depth that wasn't too deep but considering the uh, the stubble the Nox is on the uh, the new update as well it should give it greater depth apparently right after a fairly gargantuan battle with some hard soil down there and two bits of iron that nearly made me give up on that hole I think we've got a hammy. Can you see it? Could this be hoard coin number 15? Or is it just a button? Because it's a bit of, oh no, no, it is a hammy, look. And it's a short cross. It's a flipping short cross. <laughs> it's, hoard, it's hoard coin number 15. It's, it's near the concentration, I think. In, in my mind, I can see where I think we've found it before. This gives me another great opportunity to put a flag in the ground basically and uh, and helps me decide where to dig. <laughs> I'm so happy right let's get this cleaned up and let you have a look at it. There we are. That's as clear as you like but look how weird this is. You see the colouring on it. It's almost white on that side and then the patina completely even and dark on the other side. Now that says to me that this has been sitting mostly on top of something or between something for a long, long time. I don't think this has been in plough soil. What do you think? They say a lot, you know, with hoard coins, they, they patina differently because they're sat on top of other silver coins and this, that and the other. So I think that's a really good sign that there is something definitely going on here. And that's 15 now. Come on.
<laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's go find some more. All right, guys, this is what I've been doing. I've got a short cross over there. I've got my hole. I've brought over the CTX, and here you can see 100 by 100. I don't know if you can make it out. Um, this is the, the GPS, so 100 by 100 um, squares. If I zoom in here, 20 by... Oh, that's 10 by 10. There we go. Uh, let's go back up to 20 by 20. Right, so everything there is hoard coins. That's the, the coins I've found so far and the concentration of it. If I go back to 10 by 10, you can see that's me right in the middle there. And it's in the middle <laughs> of the other ones. I thought it would be a bit more over this side. Um, so actually it makes it slightly more difficult to know where to dig. But what I'm going to do is put a fine point on here. So if I press the fine point button, that'll create a fine point. And that one is fine point 63. Excellent. Save that. And now that should appear as an additional... Come on, there you go, an additional blob on the map. But as you can see, the concentration within 60 square metres there, I would say. I think the pot's in there somewhere. I just need to uh, isolate it down a bit more. So a couple more targets and I might <laughs> decide to start picking an area. We'll see. I'm just so flipping efficient, you know. I, I knew that I'd be coming here horde hunting, so I've got my little baggies. Pop that in there, and uh, he says he's efficient. I thought I had a pen. Yes, here we go. Right, so it was fine point 63. So we'll just write on the bag if I can. Oh dear. Sorry about this camera work, guys. Find. Oh dear. This is hard with one hand. Find point 63, and this is. Number 15, and that's a short cross. Lovely old job. I know exactly where that relates to in the ground now. <laughs> oh, I think we're in. I think it's number 16. It flipped out of the hole. I saw it, and I think it's that bit of mud there. Let's have a look. No, not that bit of mud. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go through it. Where is it? Aha. There you go. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can see straight away another short cross. Number 16, get in! Oh, right, quick clean up and then we'll get this one marked. There it is, number 16. I can't tell whether it's a Richard, a John, a Henry but I really don't care. Bit of a bizarre shape on that one. There you go, another short cross. I just don't know what to say, I'm in disbelief. If anyone thought this was a pocket spill, surely 16 pennies says otherwise. Surely the discoloration says otherwise. Oh wow, only problem is, this is probably, oh dear, getting on for 30 metres away from where the other one was. Makes it really difficult to try and know where the source is going to be. But it all adds to the picture. All right, moving on. Well, I wouldn't say they're coming thick and fast, although it might appear that way on camera. It's probably been an hour since the last one. I've gone the other side of where I would say the epicentre is. And I flipped this out, to be honest, it only might not be a hammer actually. No, no, that is. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, yes it is. Oh my word. Is it a short, it's a short cross as well? There we are. Number 17, staring right at us. Look at that face. That's just incredible. It's come out so shiny, that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, as you can see, short cross, so there we go. Yeah, officially number 17 for the Horde. And the, 
this one again probably 30 meters away from the first one I found so the spread some of them have been knocked about away from the source but there's still certainly an area that's more concentrated awesome stuff let's go get some more Stubble considered, still getting good depth. This was right down the bottom of this hole. Wrong kind of coin for today. And I don't think there's a quick rub, absolutely scrub a uh, Although, uh, yeah, just about make out Georgie third. Let's give it one more scrub. Uh, yeah. Uh, Georgius, yeah, I can see the three now as well. Georgie third half penny, welcome along, Georgie. We're trying to find your great 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 granddad, and we're doing quite well actually. Right, so I've just had a little break, feel all rejuvenated now. Coffee, a little bit of food because it is proper warm. I'm reasonably happy at the moment that three extra, um. Horde coins have come up. The area which probably has got the biggest concentration is still covered in um, sort of loose straw that needs to be baled. So there could still be more um, there as well. And uh, as for trying to find where I'm gonna start digging down, it's not really got easier at the moment because the, the coins I've found are actually further away from the concentration that I had originally. So it's, um, it's a frustration, a good frustration to have, I suppose, <laughs> as far as they go. Um, so at the moment, really, I can only just keep going at these topsoil ones. Um, the baler needs to come across and pick up the loose straw and uh, then uh, ultimately start clearing down some topsoil and doing some test pits and see how we get on from there. Right, let's go for a live dig hoard coin, eh? Look at that. That isn't a hammy signal. You tell me what is. Reasonably deep. Right, let's dig it. Right, I think it's out of the hole. Let's see if we can unearth one in real time. I am baking. Oh, there's an imprint there. Oh no, <laughs> that's typical isn't it? The curse of the live dig. Got part of a, an old ruler there. One of those ones that opens up. Ah. <laughs> and if I hadn't have live digged it, <laughs> it would have somehow miraculously turned into a hammy. <laughs> right, I'm determined to get a hoard coin live. Yeah, that's sounding good. Let's dig it. Right, out of the hole. Fingers crossed. This again was hitting the 13, 14s. Something nice, double beeping and, ah, oh, a bit of lead. You're killing me. You really are. <laughs> oh, why do we do this hobby, honestly? Right, onwards and upwards. Right, little lucky dip for you here. It's gonna be hard to do it with one hand. Can you see that little rim? I don't know, it looks slightly green. Just got excited maybe, thinking it'd be another one, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's looking greener by the second. Uh, skunked by a button. Damn you, sir. Damn your eyes. Ugh. Well, would you believe it? I thought I was digging tinfoil here. It was coming up at eight and it's flipped out. It looks like another hammy. But is it? 
It must have been on the surface actually. Do you know what I don't I don't think it's a horde hammy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not convinced at all. Right, let's have a quick clean up and see what we've got. Here we are. Yeah, it's not a it's not a horde coin, it's an eddy. Very, very worn. I think it's a half penny from the size. It's quite tiddly. You can barely make out the long cross and pellets on there. I think it's fit. Is it clipped? I don't know if it's clipped actually because you can see a bit of bare flan there. Obviously a bit damaged. Well, didn't expect that. Nice to get a hammy. Just the wrong one, but hey hey, moving on. Well, I just pulled out this uh, tiny little button. You can see it's got a horsey on it. Not too far away from some horses right here as well. Never had one uh, with a horse on it, and it is genuinely tiny. I mean, look, look at that comparison. That's cool, that. Well, I've, I feel like I've done all I can do at the moment. Um, with the horde area, I've managed to put three more um, spots on the GPS to sort of help work out where the centre might be. Hasn't helped that much though, because they're quite spread out, but uh, it all, it, it's all a picture, isn't it? But um, the straw that's sitting there needs to be baled. Um, and there may be more coins sitting under those. And then uh, I think it'll be time to get the mini digger in. We really, really need to take topsoil off. There's clearly far deeper than the detectors are going. I'm not finding holes with multiple coins in them. Just not that lucky. Um, so I'm detecting just for, uh, I suppose, for fun. I mean, it was fun anyway, but um, yeah. So uh, I've just dug a hole here, got a coin. I'll flip you around and let you have a look. There we go. It's a Georgie fifth half penny. There we go. There's probably loads of detail under there. However, after digging up four hammered coins today, it's a bit of an anti-climax really, isn't it? <laughs> On any other day, you'd be like, yay, lovely old job. Quite an interesting find here. Look at this, quite a large bit of bronze vessel. And you can see the curve of that there. I think, Maybe it's a plate actually, so maybe the curve is more, more that. But I found quite a lot of bronze vessels on this, on this field. Makes you wonder maybe was the hoard put in a bronze vessel? And I'm, these are the broken bits, you know. Some people find pottery, don't they, near their hoard? Maybe this one's a big metal pot. Who knows? Just uh, found quite a cool button. Thought I'd show you that. I've never seen one like that before. Concave with a gilding. And then, uh, yeah, you can see it's all complete with the shank on the back there, which is recessed. Yeah, like I say, a bit different. Thought I'd say, uh, thought I'd show you. Oh. Damn it. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I've not got much left in me. I'm absolutely knackered. Um, so it won't be too long before I call it a day. That may well be the last one. Well, this is a bit different. Yeah, you're going to love this. <laughs> I'm holding back. There's something on the other side. If you found that, you'd probably just throw it straight in the waste, wouldn't you? That just looks like a chunk of nothing. But check this out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, my word. I've no idea what it is. Looks really old. Gilded quite heavily. Nice pattern. I don't know. I mean, it's really badly damaged, so it's hard to work out, but that's cool. Well, Mud Monsters, I'm all done for the day. Uh, I have to say, that's been hard work, as it always is in this hobby. But it's been worth it. You know, I've managed to plot out some more coins, which gives a better picture of where the source might be. But it also does show that this is going to take some hard work. I'm going to have to get a mini digger. I'm going to end up camping here by the looks of it. 
and I'm going to have to start really, really going down until I find my pot of treasure. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. There was loads of good stuff come up um, that I didn't film because I was obviously trying to find the hoard. Um, so I'll put together a little gallery after this. So um, stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do hit the button. I think it's down that side and hit the notification bell for new videos. Bye for now.